What's up everybody? Welcome to Keeping It Real. I'm Todd Wynn and I am so excited to show you guys my new rig this year. And um, I just got it uh, all broken in this week. I was in Sturgeon Bay, put a lot of fish on it, broke the motor in. Uh, man, it, it, it's an awesome machine. Um, just wanted to show you guys the, the layout and a little bit about the boat. So here we have a 2022 Z21 XL. Um, you know, I got this from DNR Sports in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Those guys are the best. If you guys are looking for a Nitro, a Ranger, uh, any White River Marine boat, uh, they're the dealership to, to come to and talk to. Um, they rigged up my boat beautifully and uh, I can't be happier. This is my third boat from them. And so let's go check out this boat. So again, this is a 2022 Z21 XL. All right. And so we're going to start in the back here. Um, the boat is powered by a Mercury 250 Pro XS, and uh, this this boat is uh, this. I mean, this motor is a beast. Uh, once you start it up, it, it sounds like a racing machine. It sounds like a Ferrari. Um, man, it gets a lot of looks on the water when I'm at the ramp and I start this motor up. It just hops right on plane. Um, this is a, a bad machine. Um, so I got a Mercury 250 Pro XS on there. I got my DD26 steering clip mounts to protect it from moving side to side. I also got a DD26 mean mount. Um, you know, it protects the, the motor mount from bouncing when I'm trailering. Um, rock solid, it's, it's made out of steel. Uh, aluminum, I think it's uh, aircraft grade steel, so great stuff. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't trust any other product to, to hold up my motor. Uh, this year I'm running Minn Kota Raptors, and uh, I've been running Talons the last couple years, but man, these, these Raptors are awesome. They are super, super strong, beefy. There's like no give when you push on this thing. And, you know, it's got active anchoring, which means when it comes down, I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to, we're going to put it down. And so when it's down position and you got waves and you see how it's kind of actively anchoring itself into the ground. So it's going to pin you down and it's going to keep you pinned down. So that's the Raptors. So, man, it, it's, look how sturdy and beefy that thing looks. Um, I love this thing. I, I've been using it the last couple days and this is a awesome piece of machinery here uh, by Minn Kota. So if you're looking for a shallow, shallow water anchor, check out the Raptors. All right, so we're going to kind of move forward a little bit to the boat. Uh, in the center console here, you got, you got a touch screen pad that controls your live well, your lights. Um, so it kind of loads up. You got the touch screen. Uh, this year, I am running one Hummingbird Solex 15 on the council. Uh, I usually run two 12s, but right now I got a 12 on there. My 15 is still kind of back ordered, so um, I'm waiting for that. But I'm going to run the 12. Um, thanks to DNR Sports for hooking me up with the 12, so I can use before my 15 comes in. Um, wouldn't trust any other mount than a Bass Boat Technology mount on all my graphs. Uh, look at this, this steel plate. Um, look at that. I mean, this thing ain't going anywhere in the waves. I fish a lot of big waters, and um, it's the mount that I trust the most. Uh, rock solid, great looking, great finish, great product by Bass Boat Technology. All right, so let's keep moving up to the boat a little bit. So this is, uh, this is kind of like the office, all right? Um, this is the control panel where um, I spend most of my time fishing in the front. Um, this year I'm running three Hummingbird Solex 12s all networked together. Um, you know, great, great piece of electronics. Um, you know, so if you guys are in the market for great electronics, check out the Hummingbird Solex 12s. I got my stomp pads. These are my stomp pads from my Raptors that I can control. So I got my control here. I got a control at the council and I got stomp pads up here on the front that I can deploy and fold up my Minkota Raptors. All right. Again, 
these three graphs are super heavy um, and they are rock solid with BBT mounts right here. Look at these things. They're not going anywhere and my bolt's shaking. Um, also, I got these E-locks, DuraSafe E-locks on them. Are they 100% theft proof? Nothing is 100% theft proof, but every little piece helps. These things are great. Um, get mine from Precision Sonar. These things are all key to like for my key. And so my council graphs, my front graphs are all key to like. And basically they give me a little peace of mind at night or if I need to run into stores. Great, uh, great little piece of security for your graphs. Uh, up front here, I have a Minkota Ultrex 52 inch, uh, 112 uh, horse or uh, thrust, 112 pound thrust. And uh, man, this thing is a machine. It's got spot lock on it. Um, also, as you can see, I'm running Hummingbird Mega Live this year. Um, and then I'm also running my trustworthy Mega 360. So, um, so those are going to be shown on the graphs here. And then also on my trolling motor is a built-in uh, DI sonar. Um, so, you know, uh, trailer-wise, it's a nitro trailer. I got these step plates that I can step on into the boat. And, you know, it's, uh, and the wrap, look, check out this wrap, man. This wrap is by Big Stickers and Sign out of North Aurora, Illinois. And uh, DJ over there is a phenomenal, phenomenal guy. Um, he did this wrap and I absolutely love this wrap. Um, also something new this year, guys, is this 20, 2022 uh, Nitro Z21XL is a brand new hull that they just came out with. Uh, last two years I've had the 2020 and 2021 uh, Nitro Z21. This is a little different hull and uh, got to test it out on some big water. And man, it is, it is awesome. It rides really smooth, jumps out of plane, gets on, you know, gets on top of the waves and, and just cuts through it. This new hull is, is pretty amazing. Um, I definitely recommend it. So let's jump on the boat and let's show you guys uh, inside what the boat looks like. All right, guys, we are inside on top of the Nitro Z21 XL. And uh, I'll give you guys a little uh, overview of the layouts, the compartment. Um, so here we got two rod lockers on the side. Um, we got this side, which all my Hummingbird Ethernet boxes are connected. My This is the brain of my operations in here. As you can see, the, uh, the Ethernet boxes. And uh, I'll store my rain jackets and my butt seat. Uh, a lot of times I'll store my all my spinning gear on this side once I get the boat fully loaded but right now um, got the boat I was in a hurry to get up here so um, I got all my rods on this side so so we got one one locker here and we got a locker over here this is uh, this is where I store all my rods as you can see uh, right now I basically only have a few bait casting uh, in there but uh, mostly it's all my spinning smallmouth gear right now uh, as I uh, get later in the season and I'm largemouth fishing um, I'll need to put all my uh, largemouth gear in there but that's your rod locker all right then something new this year is the compartments uh, the last Z21 model had one big compartment and two side compartments this year they changed it up to um, two long compartments um, as you can see, uh, a lot of gear. You can store a lot of uh, baits and uh, your tackle. They also have these rod tubes in here, which you can carry your uh, the rods that are going to use that day. So if you're rigging up the night before um, for a tournament or any or fishing, you can throw your rods in there that you're using for that day. Pull them out easily the next day. Um, you got jig hangers, plastic, soft plastic hooks in there. So they've uh, put these in there pretty good. Um, so great compartment layout. We got um, some day boxes up there, really shallow day boxes that you can put some plastics in there. Uh, show you guys. So 
got little day boxes um, not sure I've gonna use utilize them all this year but um, it's great to uh, put like some of your soft plastic you're using for that day or whatever lures you're using so a couple day boxes uh, one of the coolest things on the nitro in my opinion is the cooler I think it's best cooler in the in the industry look how deep this thing is you can fit a kid in here um, got a garbage can you got a little dry box big cooler deep cooler put your drinks put your food in there as you can see I got some food in there so let's go to the back here um, awesome seats I have the Dalco air ride seats which you can kind of pump up you know these kind of inflate to kind of fit and conform to your butt and your back um, great for big water one of the cool things this year is they they design a molded middle uh, seat area uh, little storage boxes and uh, you know it's a nice molded box keep my sunglasses my chip cards uh, my scale uh, and got to have some M&Ms in here at all times so uh, great little box also uh, another little box I have here is got a little another uh, foot storage here keep my cigar uh, flow carbon leaders in there got some beef jerky and some spe my speaker in there so great little box uh, back here we got these two live wells that keep you know for your tournament guys keeps the fish nice and fresh uh, great great system and uh, so that's your live well got a little bump board uh, 15 inch make sure that you your fish is legal for the tournaments all right we'll get to the back got a little storage compartment here which I carry like a uh, safety kit um, life jackets stuff like that so both sides and then in the back here we got the engine compartment um, got my power switch I'm running right now I'm running uh, amped uh, two lithium 100 120 amp hour batteries for my trolling motor got my Minkota precision um, 460 PC on board on board charger there and uh, right now I'm running a uh, two batteries uh, paralleled together for my cranking and my electronics um, but I will be getting an amped uh, lithium battery for my electronics pretty soon so that's kind of the brain that powers the boat the battery um, you got a little nice nice little tray here to put your stuff good rag um, nice little cool feature this year is uh, they put the the drain plug with the little knob this year um, so no more bending down and getting to the drain plug um, so you got a little auto drain plug council here uh, just a beautiful council very uh, just laid out perfectly and uh, again this is the Solex 12 I'll be running the Solex 15 uh, as soon as it gets here a little delayed on production but as you can see uh, it's a beautiful boat I uh, want to thank you want to thank all the guys at DNR Sports um, you guys know who you guys are everybody from Randy Van Dam to Stephen Gould and all the sales guys and all the guys that rigged my boat and, and helped me out um, thank you guys and also Brad Humphreys my uh, the White River Marine Group and uh, with the Michigan Territory he's super super helpful to me and I always appreciate all you guys and um, so that's my boat for this year and uh, Thank you for following this this channel, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, please hit the subscribe button for more content this coming summer. I'm putting a lot of fish in here, and hopefully we can teach you guys um, and give you a few tips here and there. I uh, don't know everything, but I do spend a lot of time on the water, and I, I'm constantly learning, so hopefully you guys can learn a little bit from watching this video. So thank you guys and uh, have a great time on the water when you guys are going fishing next.